There's another matter which is being discussed at the moment and by the former Defence Minister, particularly Linda Reynolds, and that's on the compensation payment that was made to Brittany Higgins. All right, so this is the other issue that's the subject of controversy. It's Finance Minister Katie Gallagher's department's decision to settle a compensation payment with Brittany Higgins for 2 to $3 million. Now, Linda Reynolds, has, her former boss, has made clear she's going to refer this to the Na National Anti-Corruption Commission. And basically, anyone can refer anything they want about a public official to the National Anti-Corruption Commission, which doesn't start until July 1. It's a different thing altogether for the Commission to launch an investigation. Ironically, after the opposition argued that NAC hearings should be more private than public, that could hurt their chances of advancing this matter should it become subject of a formal investigation. Now, the Attorney-General Mark Dreyfus, who ultimately signed off on the Higgins payment, was most insistent on this matter this morning. He said Katie Gallagher, the Finance Minister, played no part in the decision on this and there was nothing improper in connection with the payment which related to an allegation of a rape of a parliamentary staff member. I made the decision here as Attorney-General uh, to settle this claim that was brought against the Commonwealth. It was made a decision that I made absolutely in accordance with the Legal Services Direction and the Finance Minister was, had no part to play. And again, that's standard. The Attorney-General is in charge of litigation against the Commonwealth and has to approve settlements. Now, the PM made the point this morning that whether NAC looks at something is entirely a matter for that independent body. Do you think that the Anti-Corruption Commission should look into the payment for Well, one of the things about the Anti-Corruption Commission that people mightn't have noticed in the coalition is that it's independent of parliamentarians. And it, in fact, uh, could be regarded as an entirely inappropriate action by the Prime Minister or any other politician, for that matter, to try to direct the Anti-Corruption Commission into what to do. Now, just in the last little while, Opposition Leader Peter Dutton has gone on the attack over this. He says, and I quote, you have tape recordings, you have text messages, you have other details being discovered, and it doesn't accord with the public accounts of some senior members of the Albanese government. This is at a press conference which has been held in the last hour or two. He went on to say, Peter Dutton, we're talking about senior ministers of government potentially having conspired or at least having collaborated with individuals and a lot of that needs to be explained. Strong words, Kieran. We have a mm, sitting yep. week of Parliament next week and I can imagine at this point that this particular issue will dominate and Katie Gallagher will be under the blowtorch. Yeah, I was thinking exactly the same thing, particularly on the rates front as well. You've got interest rates, you've got this uh, controversy around Katie Gallagher. It's going to be a big week next week, the parliamentary sitting. Thanks, Andrew.